very, very fast fashion. But my job as it stands, man, is to help these guys with the learning curve, um, as well as go out there and represent myself, show, show that I'm healthy, still able and capable to play the high level, um, but to assist these guys um, with what they're going to be thrusted into uh, next season. With regard to that, with the young heads, um, especially Jalen and some of the young heads that, that probably have a, a real shot um, going forward, what message do you give them? Um, you know, there, I mean, there's there's a vast a vast uh, amount of them. You know, being some off the court, some on the court. Um, but with on man, just being high character individuals, um, working hard, showing up early, staying late. And the good thing about them that, that you don't have to show them, they're very inquisitive. You know, they want to learn about the game. They want to learn how to be good. They want to learn what it takes to be a pro. And that's where myself, Bobby, Amir, as well as, you know, B. Shaw and his staff, we try to hit them to the learning curve as, as, as much as possible. Question from Amit. Hey, Jared. Uh, I wanted to know that, you know, there is an Indian uh, player in the team, uh, Prince Pal Singh. I wanted to know whether you had the chance to talk to him and what are the kind of questions that he's been asking you? First of all, I, I want to applaud Prince probably more than anybody, you know, coming into this situation uh, with the language barrier and, and still being able to go out there and compete is is amazing. If the shoe is on the other foot, I don't know how on earth I, I would be able to do that. But um, Prince possesses a lot of skills. Obviously, the, the game has transitioned to where the big guys uh, you know, need to be be able to go out there and stretch the floor. And Prince possesses those qualities. He's a very, very young kid getting acclimated to the pace and how physical the game is over here. It's, it's going to be an adjustment process for him, but he's been doing great so far. Uh, but has he been asking you something? Uh, what are the kind of things he's inquisitive about? Um, you know, how, how to maneuver, how to get himself open in space, um, picking up the defensive coverages, you know, th those type things, honestly. And then... um. You know, he, the one thing about him, man, he can be too unselfish at times. I tell him when you're open, take your shot, man. You know, uh, look to be aggressive. You know, he's a very, very, has, has a lot of size, a lot of tools and ability. And just want him to go out there and be aggressive every time he gets an opportunity. Thank you. No problem. Any other questions for Jarrett? Please take yourself off mute if you have a question. Hello, Jarrett. Chris of Saldas from SDNA Greece. I'd like to ask you, as one of the most experienced guys in the roster, how relief or how refreshing for you is to play alongside with some uh, really talented guys like uh, Jalen, Jonathan Kuminga, Todd, Nix? What, uh, how you live this uh, process so far? I couldn't hear that last bit of your question. What did you say? Yeah, how you live this process so far and how relief or refreshing for you is to play alongside with some uh, really talented guys like Jonathan Kuminga, Jalen Green, Todd, Nix? Um, it, it's very refreshing, you know, young guys that are being thrusted into such a very scrutinized position at, at, at a young age, um, but not being overwhelmed, being able to take it in stride. Um, and like I said before, they're embracing the process of trying to go from amateurs to professionals um, and high level professionals at, at, at that. You know, they all have, have, have different things uh, within their various situations, but, you know, they're, they're attacking them head on, being inquisitive, like I said before. And, you know, taking it one day at a time, man, just trying to be one one step better each and every day, not trying to rush the process and, ex and accepting the lumps and the bumps that come with it. So as long as you do that, stay encouraged and keep working hard, man. I think all of them have very, very promising futures. And also, uh, what impressed you most about those, those, two, those guys, especially Jalen and Jonathan on the court? Man, just their size and athletic ability at such a young age, you know, being 18, 19 years old, possessing these skills and qualities that they just have raw natural talent um, is, is, is jaw dropping. You know, they made a couple plays within the scrimmage today that, you know, just everybody was just looking at each other, really just like, man, these kids, man, are going to really, you know, be able to show and prove when they get to the league, man. So I'm excited for them. Um, you know, we're going to keep this thing pushing as much as possible until it's time for them to make that jump. But until then, man, I'm, I'm keeping them close in a headlock. And uh, I have one more question, one last question about you. is an off topic, but I'd like to ask you about uh, your former teammate in Skyforce, Daryl Macon, who signed in Greece some days ago. Oh, what, did. Did you see, what did you see from him and uh, what are the strengths and uh, his ability on and off the court? 
um, can really, really score, man. Has an ability to score in bunches in a variety of different ways. One of those really, uh, you know, scoring point guards, you know, that can score in a, in a number of ways, off the ball, on the ball, can play in the pick and roll. Very, very good athlete. I'm happy he, he uh, found a place to go ahead and extend his career. I think I've never been to Greece. I hear it's amazing. So he gets to go over there and enjoy your beautiful country. And, you know, I wish him the best of luck. Thank you very much. Good luck. All right, we've got time for one more question. We'll throw it over to Matt. Uh, hey, thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. Um, am I able to sneak in two questions or just one? Matt, go ahead. Okay. Um, at what point did you know of the interest from Ignite and uh, did you have any other G League offers on the table? Um, so, so they presented me with this offer around August, um, but I wasn't sure of the landscape of the world, as we all know, with this pandemic going on. And uh, so I kind of balked at it at first, kind of just until they had a kind of a concrete situation in place. And then crazy enough, um, I was I had to, my rights were with the Sky Force in Sioux Falls and they pulled out of the G League uh, season at the last minute. And, um, you know, Sharif and the guys circled back, asked me if I still was interested and I jumped at the opportunity. OK, and if I may follow up quickly, uh, obviously all eyes are on Green and Kaminga. But as a fellow point guard, what have you seen from Deshaun Nix? What's his feeling? And have you been mentoring him? Man, the first thing you notice is just his size. Size and stature, natural build. Um, you know, just wanting him to be a little bit more aggressive. You know, he's a guy that possesses a lot of cerebral tools, being able to see the play before it happens, uh, making that extra pass. He, he's, a, he's the one that really knows how to control tempo, control pace. And I want him to go out there and, and exude that, you know, be demonstrative with it. Be be a lot more vocal. And I try to explain to him that there's a difference in playing point guard and running a team. Once he gets to the point where he's running a team, that's when you start to separate yourselves and, you know, you really start to make an imprint on his league. I appreciate that. Good luck for the season. No problem. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll be in touch with you. Thank you all, man. Stay safe, bro. Mm -hmm. Definitely, DA. Yes, sir.